School is back in session across West Michigan. Among the districts gearing up for their first day, Byron Center Public Schools, Ravenna Public Schools, and Grand Haven Public Schools. Now, students in Grand Haven will all be masking up. School officials there decided to require face coverings for all students and staff, but the oppressive heat wave is making things somewhat challenging. 13 on your side's Joshua Vinson is live in Grand Haven. Josh, you spoke with the superintendent. So what is the plan to keep students and faculty cool? Hey, good morning, Jay. Yes, Grand Haven is gearing up for the first day of school today. School officials are very concerned about how they are going to keep everyone cool as this heat wave continues. As you mentioned, uh, forecasters are calling for some of the hottest days of the summer. But even if the actual air temperatures are in the upper 80s to lower 90s, the feel like or the heat index temperatures are approaching 100 degrees, if not topping the century mark. Talking with Grand Haven Superintendent Andy Engel over a Zoom call, he says he and his staff are watching the forecast very closely and doing whatever it takes to keep everyone cool as these temperatures just continue to soar. Take a listen. We're working hard to have air movement um, throughout our buildings, um, air conditioned or not. We've been working on air circulation and airflow regardless for COVID to make sure things are effective and safe. Um, we do have air conditioned spaces in most of our buildings that classes can rotate through. We have almost 30 large tents that we use for our summer school program. We've deployed those across the district, our elementary and intermediate school buildings so that um, there's shade outside. So hopefully we've got some nice Lake Michigan breeze blowing in the next few days. And Superintendent Engel went on to say the good thing about those tents is that there isn't a mass requirement outside so students and faculty could continue instruction outdoors and enjoy the comfort of not wearing a mask. And he and as he just said, hopefully a cool breeze from the lake will work in their favor. But he said also with the resources that they have here in Grand Haven, he's pretty confident that they will be able to keep everyone cool and weather the storm or weather this heat wave. As for now, reporting here in Grand Haven, Joshua Vinson, WZZM 13 on your side.